All right, our top story tonight. Talk about some serious economic mood swings. Some big data points coming in today. The Consumer Confidence Index shot up in April. Home prices soared to the highest level in seven years. But at the same time, the Chicago PMI, which is a key indicator of business activity, fell to contraction levels for the first time in more than three years. So what should you believe? Our Money Power panel is here to break it all down. Peter Schiff is the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. Matthew Tuttle is the CEO of Tuttle Wealth Management. And Jonas Max Ferris is co-founder of MaxFunds.com. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Peter, let me start with you. That consumer confidence number, very positive. Does it make you feel good? Well, sometimes confidence is not a good thing. You know, if you're skating on thin ice, but you're confident that it's thick, you can get into a lot of trouble. I think rising home prices are creating the false impression that things are getting better, but actually rising home prices is more of the problem. I think the PMI was more indicative of what's really going on. In fact, I think the real economic situation is a lot worse uh, than even the PMI would suggest. Peter, I feel like I knew you were going to say that. Matthew, do you think <laughs> that those rising home prices are, are, are a sign of something bad? as opposed to something good? No, I, I look at it as, as a sign of something good. I, I mean, the consumer number, the home price number, they all came with some yeah, buts, but things are still going in the right direction. And, you know, I think we've now got an economy that's not too hot, not too cold, which means the Fed's probably going to keep their, uh, their foot on the gas, which is going to be good for stocks. Jonas, I mean, isn't that the secret right now? Is that sort of Goldilocks type situation where we want it not too hot because you don't want the Fed to get out of the game, but not too cold, obviously, because that's no good. Yeah, it's hard to describe it as a Goldilocks situation. The economy is really not the best of any world. But you're yes, not, you're, you're not going to help me out here at all. No, the, <laughs> that is the big scare. They're going to stop subsidizing money, basically, and giving it away. And the economy just isn't strong enough to stop it. And there's there's so little inflation that deflation is still a fear, and that's that's a horrible thing. Which is why I think the home thing is important because if that price wasn't going up with the rates that we have now. We would it basically would be disguising a depression, and since we're not, because they are going up with these loads, which is good. People are buying homes, even investors are buying. They're homes buying homes they that. can't afford. Well, they're, with they're money, they, not, look, that's, Jonas, that's, that's the problem. It's the only reason that real estate prices are rising is because people are taking advantage of low rates. There's a lot of speculators now buying. There's a lot of private equity money uh, that's trying to flip single-family homes. I mean, this is how we got into trouble. Yeah, Eventually, here, rates here. are going to go up. Look at the dollar index today. Hit a 10-week low. I, I uh, if know. that dollar really Hang starts to come second. under pressure, that's going to put a lot of pressure on the Fed. Because if you look at the people that are in there in the housing market, it is still very difficult to get a loan unless you put a significant <laughs> amount down. When you talk about no, private equity, not. yeah, it is. I mean, if you go out, it, I, no, I mean, unless not. you're getting an FHA loan Peter, and you're getting 3%, that's, that's a small you, part of the market. As trying to buy, as an investor in real estate, all the bids are getting bought by all cash buyers. So it's not like this mortgage fuel debt laden market anymore. These are oh, cash no, no. buyers. Those all cash with... buyers are borrowing money. These are private equity funds that are paying all cash. So Believe me, they that, are levered up too. You what, don't see it in the transaction, it's behind the scenes. But, but that's, I mean, that's getting the cheap them. money from the Fed. But you're acting like they're buying an overvalued asset that's like up 300% in the last three years, like in Miami or Vegas. These homes are still down 40, when you adjust for the interest rates, they're down 50% nationally, but even in some markets. So it's not, it's cheaper than renting in many cases. And if you factor but in any kind of inflation, now, which I think you are. When interest rates go up, it's a whole new ball game. You know, and it, we still have a lot of people who are unemployed. I think unemployed. we've got some room to There's go. Lots of empty that houses won't the that rates no one's go living with in. inflation a and won't in the the Hang on, guys. we got to go one at a time. And let me let, I, I love the, I love the argument. Argument, but let me let Matthew back in there for a second. What do you think of this dispute? Which side do you come down on? Well, I, I, I come down on the side that, you know, in the future, who knows what, what's going to happen with this. But for right now, this is good. For right now, the consumer is, is making money on their house. The consumer's got confidence. They're making money in their 401k. And it argues that we should be buying stocks, yeah. but you've got to be tactical with it. Just like 2004, it. just like 2005, sure. all but over it, again. But Isn't as that long, great? Right? But We're as setting long ourselves as you're, up for a bigger hey, disaster. Peter, Peter, as long let me as ask you're you, tactical, private, hang on one second. you should be fine. Peter, let me ask you. Private equity is coming back into the market with all cash in order to buy homes. In a lot of cases, they're buying them to rent them out. 
Um, what is wrong with that? Isn't that a traditional bottom in the market when you see, I mean, that's a classic arbitrage play. They see an opportunity. So no, I don't know that it's a bottom. Okay. I think they, they, they may think they're buying the bottom, but they're catching a falling knife, I think, in the real estate market. But they are borrowing money. But what's happening is they have cheap financing. They're trying to rent out single family homes, which is very difficult to do. I mean, I was renting a single family home for years uh, during the housing bubble myself. But what's going to happen when, when their costs go up, when interest rates go up, uh, they're not going to be able to unload these properties. Okay. Now, I think maybe what the private equity is going to try to do, if they can do it quickly enough, they can package them up into some kind of REIT and yeah. take it public and maybe find somebody to buy it if they can bring it public on the stock exchange. Okay. That's Hang the on only way second. they're going to get out of this stuff with Hang money Peter, Peter, is if Peter, they can Peter, find Peter, a bigger Peter, fool to buy on, on, on the, you know, on the stock market. He's very, they're not going to be able to sell We're them to individual homes. you got to stop and let Jonas talk. There's a gold bear market going on. Of course he's going to be angry. Uh, what do you, I mean, he, it's predicated on interest rates going back up. I don't see that happening anytime soon. It's not happening soon. And if it happened, it's only going to happen because of inflation, right? Which would inflate rents and home prices. So you're, you're kind of, that's why they're doing it. It's a hedge investment. Your home ownership rates right now are at like 19. Let me, let food, on, let uh, him finish. Look, I, I, I am totally believe in bubbles when everyone's enthusiastic and confidence is too high. But when you got home ownership levels at 1995 levels, it's fallen several percent. There's not a boom. There's not a bubble by the consumer borrowing money with no money down ninja loans. You're talking about cash buyers, sophisticated investors. Okay. That is novel. We're going to leave it there, the guys. Well, that's it for everybody. Thanks to all of you for joining us. That was mistakes. really spirited, and it's over. Thank you.